The FN-49 is a gas-operated weapon. Its gas intake system allows into the mechanism exactly sufficient gas to operate the weapon. This gas regulation enables the weapon to be adjusted to atmospheric conditions as well as variations in ammunition. The regulator has intentionally been located under the handguard as to not be unintentionally changed. It can, however, be easily changed with the appropriate spanner wrench in order to use a specific lot of ammunition or to use the rifle in atmospheric conditions that are completely different. The size of the slot for the escape of gas and its location are such that when it is completely open, the pressure exerted by the gas on the piston is insufficient to operate the mechanism. This is the point where the gas regulator intervenes. The regulator is built from a simple threaded sleeve screwed around the gas cylinder. When the sleeve is screwed in, the opening for gas escape decreases and consequently the thrust of the gas on the piston is growing. A good functioning of the rifle without undue fatigue for the mechanism is thus ensured. To adjust the gas regulator, the handguard must be removed. This is done by first ensuring the rifle is unloaded and safe. The stock end cap can then be removed. It is secured by a screw which can be removed with a screwdriver blade on the gas regulator spanner wrench. With the screw removed, the stock end cap can be slid forward and the handguard lifted off. The stock end cap should then be resecured for the adjustment process to secure the rifle barrel and receiver to the stock. Adjustment of the gas regulator is generally started with the gas regulator open to the point as to not allow the bolt to lock back with an empty magazine. After loading a single round, fire the weapon and observe if the bolt locks back. If not, screw in the gas regulator using the spanner wrench. This can be done a single notch at a time or several. Load another single round and fire the weapon, again observing if the bolt locks back. This process is repeated until the bolt locks back after firing. The gas regulator should then be screwed in another couple notches to ensure reliable functioning with slight variations. The rifle should then be loaded with a full magazine and fired until empty to ensure the rifle both cycles properly and locks back after the last round. After achieving the desired adjustment, the handguard can then be reinstalled in the reverse order of removal. With the gas regulator adjusted properly, only the required quantity of gas is allowed to pass into the gas cylinder and the fouling of the parts submitted to the action of gas is reduced to a minimum. In addition, the escape of the excess of gas outside of the weapon sweeps continuously into the air the residues of powder combustion, also reducing the possibility of fouling. Thanks for watching. If you found this video interesting or helpful, go ahead and give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. Then let us know what you thought or would like to see with a comment. If you would like to support the channel, a link to our Patreon page is in the description. For more information on this firearm and others, head on over to historyandfirearms.com.